Hi everyone. Do you know, I can't believe it's nearly three weeks since I did the last video. But anyway, I'm back again. I have been working quite hard on um, my junk journals. These have been so addictive. I've enjoyed doing every one that I've been making. I've made quite a few, but they're only the outer shells. And I've decided not to start any more until I complete them and finish them. Right, so this one is a journal cover and it's a fabric one again. It has wadding inside and all stitched around the edges with a, a pretty, pretty embroidery stitch. I've actually stamped the wonky tonk lady again. I do promise you that this is going to be the last time for a while before I use these stamps, but I do think they're beautiful. I've actually done stamping here as well, but I've left that stamping. I haven't done anything with it because I think the colours go really well with the rest of the colours. They all complement each other. Hand stitch this flower, hand stitch this on and hand stitch this. These are die cut flowers, they're material, but I did French knots in the middle and then put little beads and then I did a running stem stitch there. Stitch down the edges with some lace and that's ready to actually have the innards put in. I've started putting some things together um, so that they'll go inside, but That'll be for another video. This is another junk journal that I've completed. It's a fabric one again with wadding. Lots of um, hand stitching, embroidery, um, lace. The memories is cardstock, which I've actually glued on and it glued on very well. I was quite surprised about that. Um, the back is lots of um, material which have all been collaged and stitched together. Now this one I've actually started to put things inside ready for the junk journal. I think that's a Castle Craft stamp and I put this book belongs to which is gorgeous. have something else to do there. might put a pocket there but I'm not sure but there's a little record here that I've put together which actually matches bits of paper bit of stitched lace onto there. Oh, she's gorgeous. And I thought she, the colors went really well with this one. But all I've done so far with this is put papers together, uh, which I think go really well. And I've put, I love this one as well. It's very nice. So I thought I'd start putting things when I come across them into the middles. And that way I know, um, what path I'm going to take with it. Here's another one. Now this one actually has tie put on it as well. Pretty bird image, that's paper. And this is a die cut envelope and a die cut, die cut, cut piece of paper that goes with it. Again, it's the Tim Holtz um, tattered lace die. And I've actually glued those down but the rest has been hand stitched that's glued down as well I've only put a couple of things in this ready and they're things that um, I just adored to making them like everything I'm doing at the moment this is going to be a pocket in there again it's a die cut flower but I've done lots of stitching embroidery uh, French knots all in the middle so that's going to be a pocket I think the pocket's probably going to be there but I'll hand stitch it on haven't made my mind up yet this is a tag it's a material tag as well so that's going to go in there another pocket which I've um, put another die cut flower and just a tiny bit of embroidery on that one another bit of lace and hand, uh, machine stitched it, lovebirds. Now these pieces here, what 
what's happened here is this is the waste from actually cutting these out so what I did I decided to stitch it onto a piece of material make a pocket of it and then the aperture in the middle I've put this beautiful image of a lady I think she's gorgeous put a flower there as well and then machine stitched all the way around and then just fluffed up the edges so they go a bit vintagey looking I really like that one I like her as well I've stamped her now she's going to go in there somewhere but at the moment I'm not sure where everything's a work in progress but every every progress I make I'm just enjoying it all it's lovely now this is probably going to be my favorite one this is just adorable experimented again I put some material onto some linen material I think it is onto um, an A4 piece of paper then I put it through the printer and this is how it turned up out she's gorgeous stitched all around here machine stitched machine stitched the back in all around here as well she's actually um cardstock and i've glued her on she's beautiful hand stitched all around this little bit of lace flower here this i still have to hand stitch i haven't done it yet and this one I haven't done yet. Now that's a brad I've put in the middle at the back there. It's a, a little lace flower. And then I've put a brad through, as you can see there. Now I've started to put things together for this one as well. Every time I come across something while I'm uh, picking something up, I think, oh, this will go for this journal, this will go for that journal. So I've started putting things together for this one as well. I love the blues and the prettiness of that one, but I think that's going to be my favourite one there. This is only a little one, and so far all I've done is um, cut out these little flower petals, hand-stitched them on, hand-stitched the little bit of linen there as well. I've stamped that quote, which is lovely. If I open this out, that's going to be... A pocket but that'll be further down the line that's also stamped I've done some French knots there and a little heart there that matches the rest of the flower there oh got another heart there don't want to lose that I'll put that there a minute but nothing else done with that one so that's a work in progress as well Oh, this is adorable. Love the colours of these. Started experimenting with putting little danglies on the side. And I really love that as well. So I'm probably going to put danglies on the side of most of them. But we'll see. Again, lots of layering. Lots of French knots. Lots of hand stitching there. The back as well. Lots of piece, collaging lots of bits of material together and stitching them. I haven't done very much with that one, as you can see in the inside. But the enjoyment comes from making these covers. They're absolutely gorgeous. This is another one which is very similar, the rabbit material there. I actually did some raggedy flowers here and some French knots in the middle and some tiny, tiny little stamens coming out there. Here I've just done a little bit of um, embroidery. That's stamping again and I've actually, it's a raggedy really that I made and it went so well with this so I stitched it onto it. The button and the um, little fluffy material at the back there went so well and then I did lots of um, embroidery on there and the backs very pretty as well all layering up with the different bits of material this is another favorite oh gosh they're all favorites <laughs> isn't that bird lovely that's a beautiful bit of material i bought not sure where i got that from most of all the stuff i've had i've had it for years 
this is this is my favorite bit of lace and i just cut the flowers out and hand stitched them on there and it's beautiful um cut out these little flowers and then hand stitched them on lots of little bit of fluffy stuff there hand stitched another bit of that beautiful flower there embroidery and the back's quite plain with this one i haven't done very much with that but again that's a work in progress as well wonky tonk girls <laughs> yeah. we'll have to see what we're going to do with this one i've done french knots and little running stitches um embroidery there little bit of organza there with some french knots and some uh, running stitches all along the stems of the flowers the same here as well i do like this organza it's gorgeous nothing on the back yet i've just stitched it around with some black uh, thread so that it doesn't fray too much because it will be a while i think before i get on to doing anything with this one one that i cut out and that made my mind out though before I do anything else and before I put anything on this, I'm actually going to finish some of the others that I've done. But these were the first ones I made and I haven't finished these either. These were made with grey board and put a grommet there and then some seam binding which I coloured to actually match the flowers and the button. And the remember when, remember when again is paper, cardstock actually, uh, fleur de lis uh, um, stencil I had, and I put some moulding paste through it. And this is a graphic 45 lady that I cut out and put on there. Now the outside, it's grey board for the base, but I've actually glued on material. And it's a beautiful material. It's all roses and I just love it. So, and I've done the same for the inside. Now this one's all ready to actually, well they are all, they're all all ready just to put the innards in. So that's the next step of doing it. Right, this is the last one that I've got and that was started before I started the material uh, junk journals, but this was wallpaper and I didn't want to put grommets for the tie back so I just put the tie back on, glued it onto the edge here, lots of gesso over it and um, this is wallpaper, that's a stencil which says moments and the inside that's just wallpaper which I've gessoed as well but again that's another thing ready for the inside. Um, since I've been doing these junk journals, they've just become addictive. Oh, I love it. And what I love about it most is that it's actually rekindled my love of embroidery. I used to do a lot of cross stitch when I was younger, but that went out of favour. Favor. Then I did lots of um, sewing and quilting and bag making cushions and... You name it, I've done it, but I have to say, the junk journals at the moment, I am so in love with them. It's just really giving me so much pleasure. And as I say, this, this will be the one which I'm going to finish first, and then the others won't be far behind it. Oh, thank you everyone for watching. Bye-bye.